Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my AC Valhalla. Let's play some very hard difficulty Master Assassin and Pathfinder. In today's episode, we're about to find out what we're gonna do, because uh, we're gonna pick up uh, one of those quests over there. We'll see just what are the options. Good hey, day, love. Layla. How you doing? It's been a while. <laughs> Come to me. <laughs> Take that camera on that chick. There we go. Oh. Let's talk. All right, baby. Uh, show me the. I want to map. see the alliance map. And bingo! Remember, in the previous episode, I said that we might gonna have some to do here. And I Tell was me right. more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. And we'll find the ingredients for the potion. <laughs> Kill two rabbits with one blow. I will go as soon as I can. Good. The abbot Gambit. Vassim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. Dag, you again? Basim has brought word of Sigurd's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. You must join us, cockroach. You think I'm gonna, man, let everybody know? Yo, Dank is gonna be the, the the head of the Solomon now, because he wants to. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your y'all? A fine way of putting it, wolf kissed. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. Treason. I sense treason. Alright. Oh, look at that. I got... Oh. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And I got the teleport. <laughs> We just been there in a previous episode picking up some loot because <laughs> I didn't know what to do, <laughs> and then in the end we ended up fighting the legendary animal, big grizzly. All right, all Do you see? <gasps> oh, that's a big culture over there. Can make a distinction between faith and reason. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve. Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, brother Horford? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? Posterous blasphemy. No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. I'll take that. 
ask me shit. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulka? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Let's go. Since are the instrument of the ancients. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace. And never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a prince. <laughs> I just love these moments. Than yourself. <laughs> Surely hide themselves like me. I like that I sword well. too. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? I like to take it. That's right. It looks like and a Daedric of, sword. How should I say? Skyrim. Deep responsibility to the, the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. So but it doesn't explain what like you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important, and I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. <laughs> Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. <laughs> what favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which stain he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him, before his exalted position is made public, and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him, and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Yeah, why not do it yourself? Why not kill him in secret and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the king's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstern has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. 
We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Fulkenstein. <laughs> Maybe that's the... the Dracula? <laughs> I'm not done playing with those Christians yet. <laughs> Alright, we got a little ride to do. So how about all the way? We do these two things. <laughs> Let's probably start with the mystery. Alright. Nah, yeah! I'll go pick up the opal. Maybe we'll find some uh, additional treasure chests or something. I don't really think. Let me zoom in. Okay, there's a treasure chest right. Oh, damn it. That's what you get when you don't play it like. Boom. Then we can go over here and all the way down. Oh, I should have started with the mystery. Let's go do the mystery first. Thing. Look at that, that's a lot of ore just in one spot laying around for me to grab. More. It's a pretty decent spot. What troubles you, old man? Please, I beg you. How many are there? I must know. How many what? The stones. Every time I count them, the answer is different. First twenty, then twenty-one. The fair folk made a madman of me. Rock cannot appear and disappear. I shall count them. Run round and round. Pick up your skirts. Still drag your robes through the dirt. You mock old Cuthbert. Stone soldiers hopping in and out, in and out like robins on a wood pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty two. Uh, I started from this one, didn't I? Twenty-two. Your stone centuries. I've counted them. And? How many lords and ladies come to dance a jig? Twenty-seven? Twenty-one? Thirty-one? Twenty-one. There are twenty-one. I am as sure as I can be. See? Never the same. Never the same. Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. The hell? Okay. This is my starting point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. What the hell? I cannot get the same number twice. Never the same. Never the same. Cobweb cloaks and magpie hats. Maybe I'm going crazy. Now they're 26. How can this be? See? Never the same. Never the same. Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. <laughs> well, but it don't look as it changed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. This is madness. They change each time. Don't 
Close your eyes, or they'll steal the glinting flint. Scrabble it away. Perhaps there are 23. Ha! They have bewitched you too. Twirl and spin and dance and grin. Pyrak, it comes to bite your shin. Who came crawling from the moor like a fat black rabbit without any legs? I see you, glisten little imp. 27, 21, 23, 24, 22, 22, 22. I don't know how to help you. It seems as if the stones appear and disappear at will. You should not stay here. Leave. Leave before they claim you. The Screamer toy with me, casting his magic in England. <laughs> that stone. Was it here before? And where is my mad friend? Damn this cursed place. <laughs> that man is the stone. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Alright. And after we do this, uh, we are gonna go. That way. Yeah! Actually, no, no, what? No, no caps. The quest might lead us there, so we're gonna go that way and submit the and kind of do the quest, you know. Easy open. Maybe let's go inside here. Oh, yeah. To get some arrows back. Mm. Thor lends me strength. To go, my brother. I cannot thank you enough, friend. Looks like trouble. No trouble at all. Oh, look at all that arrows. Sweet, I got them all back. I oh, know, I'm still missing some. One more fabric. Cool. Head out to that opal. Oh, there's one. Say no to some free ore. <laughs> I 
I hate when I have to dismount. Six arrows, sweet. Ah! Do we have a bird? Oh, there's a bird right there that I already discovered. That's cool. Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone may know where he went. Hello? You tried to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the king's business. Oh, bugger off here, eh? or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. <laughs> How about you help me from the goodness of your heart, and then I'll leave you alone? A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. Wait. There was a Bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. Wasn't that a dead guy? <laughs> that we already found. Funen, guide me. <laughs> oh. That ale swamped scarp can't have gone far. You there. He's still You're alive. alive. <laughs> Patience is I a tired he was horse. Dead. Prodigy plod plod. Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. Let me guess. Dump him into the water. <laughs> You sing of Bard, stern of eye and scant of mercy. Have you not seen the ravens feasting in my wake? Enough! Your word mangles are making my hair ache. You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? <laughs> Cockroach. Have some coin, and rent a proper bed for the night. Oh, bless you! Well, stories are my currency, friend. How else am I to make my living? A more honest profession? Plowing fields, milking cows. Manual labor? God's blood! There's a fortress to the southeast where paladins pray by night and fight by day. Dover, on the White Cliffs. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. 
Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. Cool. The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. Ride like the wind. How long do we have to go? Oh, that's a long path. Maybe we should turn around and check this place out. Check this place out and this place out. I guess we're gonna have it in part one, part two. We'll do a little expedition. So that was the first place. Oh no. I'm getting close to it. Why was my marker removed? What the hell? Yeah. He didn't die from the first shot? What kind of animal is that? That never happened before. Looks like there's nothing here. Let's go. Oh, we got a couple of grizzlies. Killing the legendary animal, these grizzlies don't look fearsome. <laughs> Unless if you don't run out of stamina like I just did. <laughs> oh. Stun attack, let's go. trigger Wolf. I must be careful now no we're already here hmm some sort of death. Oh damn. I think it's supposed to damage me now. What if we use this thing co to cover it, can we? <laughs> no, looks like we can't. <sighs> Come on. the sound go oh 
Well, that was pretty sick. <laughs> oh, look at all that wealth in the set. So, a little bit more titanium for me as well. Sweet. It smells like a trap. That didn't work. <laughs> I love this archery, don't you? Oh! That guy's a legendary dude. some of that <laughs> busted poison who the hell are these guys I haven't seen them. I mean <laughs> I definitely can't upgrade nothing with that. Whoa, I'm still taking poison damage? Sheesh. Okay. Let's go get rid of that curse. By the way, fast traveling point. Right there, man, I got a big ride ahead of me. A long, long ride. Oh, great. Poison. Something is not right. Still getting damaged? Oh shit. That's pretty crazy, man. Ah! Alright, we're gonna do these three more things. Actually, let's pick up the opal and call it a day for this episode. We're going to continue in the next episode. The Abad's Gambit. 
think we're gonna have a long journey. <laughs> oh, great, more wolves. Pretty straightforward. Yeah! Alright, fine. Let's do. Oh man, there's more? Two mysteries. I hate mushroom ones. <laughs> Hello, hallucination. Okay, after a good old play, I actually figured out how to, wait, how many doors have we got here? Uh, okay, that might be number one door. Flying fish? Two, three. Okay. I think it's being calculated by the skulls. Fish. No skulls. But the fish is the fish. Then birds. Usually there's a, a secret that tells you. I thought it was the fire, but apparently it looks like it's not the fire. fire water fire wind where is this mist dang it I didn't figure out what was the mystery here, how to calculate things. But it looks like that there is only four doors this time, usually it's like five. Water, fire, forest, nature, and then mist. Probably this is mist. The bees bother you, boy. Maybe do not stand so close to the hive. But I need honey. Just a little. It's for my friend. It's all she likes to eat. I only want to scrabble a little. Let me guess. They have plenty to share. I have a feeling it's, it's a little teddy bear. Well, a little bear. <laughs> I've tried poking it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. <laughs> She's so gentle and kind, but if she doesn't get her honey, I don't know what will happen. 
<laughs> Definitely a bear. You got the honey? Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. Leave it on that rock and she'll be right along. What rock? What are you talking about? <laughs> Here? But I don't see no interaction buttons. What rock? <laughs> the rock is just over there by the tree. Before she comes, rock by the tree. Oh, okay. <laughs> His hand just went through. Come sit and wait with me. Well, that's a She'll lot be of here soon. honey. <laughs> but I picked the only one. looked after me ever since mother and father died. She's my best friend. The other children tease me. Sometimes they throw stones to shoo me away and call me the grubby watcher in the woods. Winifred saved my life. I was curled up on the grass praying that God would take me too. And she scared the wolves away. There you are, Winifred! <laughs> See, I told you it was a bear. <laughs> I got your honey! My bestest of bears. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. This kind stranger got you some honey. What do we say? Thank you. All that honey must have given you quite a thirst. Are you really all right out here on your own? Where is a man made out of See, bear's head? <laughs> I'm not alone with the very best of bears <laughs> by my side. Goodbye and thank you. <laughs> Come on, Winifred. Shall we walk to the lake? Maybe we can splash in the reeds. That was a pretty cool mystery. <laughs> that you can't deny. Strange fellowship. Oh, very predictable. But then... After this, we're gonna be calling it the This area is off limits. Alright, so we got copper cockroaches over there. Uh huh. We can't get to the cockroach over there. Oh, uh, he is even the. the crossbow cockroach. I guess we're gonna have to just beat everyone up. No sneaky picky mode this time. Oh, oh wait, I can do the stun attack? Buddy, you left by yourself, man. How about we tango? <laughs> Hi there. 
How's your day? I said, how's your day? Why are you swaying? That's no way you welcome a friend. Good night. Alright, what do we have here? Treasure. Oh, first we need to find a key. Who's got the key? Oh, the Arbola guy got the key. Right. The guy was shot. Give me my key, boy. Thank you. <laughs> hey, comrade. You're free to go. You are a true friend. I Thank know. You. Oh, look at all these goodies right here, huh? Full of ammo. What is that? Low when he just jumps on the box when I want him just to destroy the box to see if there's any loot. Chest. More fabric, more leather. Sweet. Oh, rest in peace. Nico. Is there anything else here? Uh, nope. Alright, let's do this final thing because in the next episode we're just going to start off from this location. So let's get rid of that curse and call it the end for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, this game is still easy. Yeah. Even like if you fight like the guys, I mean, when I was doing re weapon reviews, as soon as you get a myth mythical... Yeah. Mythical, mystical <laughs> uh, weapon, that's it. You can say adios to the difficulty. I don't know, they should boost up the enemy's you know, reactions or something. Make them stronger. Hey, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Genius! Oh, yeah, we got a mystery. Right freaking there. Fine. Let's just do this last, last mystery and I'm done. Quick check that there is no little boxes I'm missing. Oh, it has the. It, the reset has to come. I need to go and do my daily contracts and maybe uh, extra opa. Opa, opa. My mother's not yours, you stupid bag of feathers. Now, now, kids. What happened, little one? Mummy's ring. I just took it out to look at it, and a mean bird snatched them off me. What were you doing with your mother's ring? Someone borrowed it, and she asked me to get it back. But now it's up in that tree, and I can't climb that. There's the bird's nest. What tree? Huh. Interesting. How the hell am I supposed to? Your hat. 
hands off my property! That ring is mine! Give it back, I say! Are you the girl's mother? Stepmother! My husband gave me that ring! My stepdaughter stole it from me! She's been a plague to me ever since I married her father! When all I've tried to show her is kindness! She says you borrowed it from her mother. Her mother is dead! Oh, perhaps it did belong to her once. I didn't know. Your new husband gave you his dead wife's ring. We don't have much. I will not spurn a gift from a good heart. He's a fine man, and I love him, dear. But his daughter will never love me. Not while she still pretends her mother's alive. Let the girl have the ring. It is all she has of her mother. Do this, and new bonds may grow between you in time. You are wise, stranger. It is hard to give it up, but it belongs to her more rightfully than I. Take it to her, please. <laughs> I have your mother's ring. Be careful in the future. We should hold tight to what is precious. I saw you talking to my stepmother down there. Did she try to take it off you? What a warty old dragon. <laughs> she agreed that you should have it. Be kind to her, little girl. She's trying her best for you. I suppose. I'll speak to mother about it. Farewell, then. Oh, well. Well. This is where we're going to be calling in the end for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond respond to them. So if you got something to say, you can always comment down below. The only request that I have is don't swear. Simple as that. Now I'm going to go do my dailies. Y'all have a good one and day and night, whatever you guys like it at. Bye.